Hi, this is Sherry Veronica, and today is a day in history. Nat Turner, there was a movie about this, Nat Turner planned a revolt. He and four other slaves planned on toppling slavery. I don't understand how he planned to do it. This was in Virginia. Like I said, there's a movie about it and everything is romance. But in reality, with his planning and his undertaking to pull off a revolt, heading towards Jerusalem of all places, within 24 hours, within 24 hours of him surprising the white people and killing 55 white men, women, children. Within 24 hours of that surprise attack, the white people had counter attack. The white people had organized. The white people had pushed them back and killed them. And the ones that didn't kill were in hiding. Nat Turner was one of the ones in hiding. Well, initially, the white people just strung them up and hung them without even a trial. Okay, and then some went to trial and then they were executed. Nat Turner was captured on October 30th, today in history, October 30th. And he started like mouthing off, telling people why he planned it, the reason behind why he kept the, the, the revolution, the plans for him to do what he did. He kept it really small because he knew that the enslaved, blacks would tell he knew that so he he spouted off you know giving a sort of confession while he was in jail waiting to go to trial and he was telling the people all about how he had visions and how the solar eclipse was like a vision and how you know god was telling him where to go and what to do and the first would become last you know all that biblical stuff and he was able to read which was like out of the ordinary back in that time and he actually had a bible which was even more extraordinary back in that time so this self-proclaimed prophet that said that he was working and guided by the angels and by god he was executed he was put in jail. The white people uh, asked the government to pay them for their losses. Anyone that got killed during this whole dust up, the white people sought money back. You know, they don't go without getting their money back. They don't, they don't take losses pretty well. So while they are killing off the blacks who were part of the revolt and partition petitioning the government to get that money back for any losses, Nat Turner was in prison waiting trial. And you know how that trial was going to end. I mean, the story is going to end that he was killed around November the 11th. So no sooner than he was caught within less than two weeks, he was dead. So I say everything I say, you can go online and read about Nat Turner. But I say everything I say, because when people are relying on this God, when people are relying on other people, even, you know, even having the revolt in the first place, when they, in their minds, did not like the, 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 the slavery, this, it was legal. It was legal and they did not like the system of slavery. They did not like how slaves were treated and they attempted this revolt. It only goes to show that when you have a particular place in history, when it is set out in the minds of people that another set of people should have a role in history to counteract that, you need the whole, the black people needed the whole of Africa, the whole continent of Africa to be on that same wavelength. It never happened. It could not happen because Africa and a lot of African nations were part of slavery. They sold each other into slavery. It is not going to change. It can't change. Black people are probably going to have to come to the realization that they have to stop having children and move off you know how some species become extinct black people are going to have to come to the the realization that they must become extinct from this earth maybe they would 
maybe they will reincarnate somewhere else, but on this on this earth, they are seen as a pawn in the whole scheme of things, and they are not going to pull away from it because black people do not see themselves as worthy of being black. They see themselves worthy when they can look down on blacks or live next to the whites or have money and like pompous set that they are better because of money. Once black people do not coalesce as a whole, as a whole and see themselves as being part of the earth and being welcome and being they have rights you have a right to be on the earth and to be successful on the earth unless black people come to that realization they're going to be pawns in this game and within that setting within the pawn like setting you're gonna have at some point at some point when you are when you're having these times of clarity sometimes every now and again i don't know if a whole entire continent will have a moment of clarity it is an individual it is a personal thing having these moments of clarity but it has to expand to the point that you have to make yourself become extinct and hope that you can reincarnate on another planet where black people can see themselves as worthy to not be a slave. This is Shay Veronica.